Hey everyone, welcome to Deep Press Media. This is Yosh and welcome to study abroad secrets with that Indian girl and I'm really excited for this. So my name is Yoshita. You can call me Yosh and I'm from India and I go to college in LA. I go to Fidum. It's a fashion school in LA and I'm pretty sure a lot of you have heard about it. So I had to leave for college when I was 17 and that too alone. I obviously had too many questions not just when I was going but you know before applying. Fashion school is also not something that a lot of people go to. So I didn't have a lot of insight into what I was getting into and I had so many questions and I really wish you know there was someone who could answer them for me. But that's why I'm here and I know a lot of people struggle with just the concept of study abroad and a lot of people have a lot of questions and I'm here to answer everything and I'm here to talk about everything study abroad. So that's what this segment is going to be about. Without further ado, let's get into today's video. Today we're going to be talking about how you can adjust to a new lifestyle, you know, when you're moving abroad and when you're basically in a new place. This doesn't just have to be limited to college it could be anything you could be moving for work or whatever and this comes from my personal experience and i'm going to be talking about five different things and five different things you can do to you know just make your life easier and make your time better so the first thing i would say is always always ask for help i had so many questions and you know like it's not an easy process there are so many things to consider and i had questions regarding my college app my visa and you know like everything and i didn't know what i what would happen once i get to la my housing so it was a huge mess and i'm also very shy <laughs> so i realized what what did help me was just asking for help and a lot of a lot of times like people are really nice and they do try to answer your question so don't be hesitant is what i would say just step out of your little bubble and just ask for help if you need it so the second thing i want to talk about is anxiety so i worried so much about what things would be like once i get there and i would you know like basically not sleep and i had a lot of anxiety related to this and i used to overthink it a lot and when i did go there things were really different and they weren't as i expected in a good way and they really didn't need that much thought and they didn't need sleepless nights so i would say don't be so anxious about what your situation is going to be like because i promise you with time everything will fall into place and you'll figure it out so there's no point suffering imagined troubles if that makes sense <laughs> Um so yeah don't be so anxious and try not to be anxious like I can't tell you not to be anxious but try to think about it this way like everything is going to fall in place and there's nothing you can do about it anyway as of now so yeah the third thing that I want to talk about is stepping out of your comfort zone this is so important and I feel like you know you're in a new place and when you start seeing like new things doing new things that you wouldn't normally do i think it's a lot easier to just get used to the environment there and to adapt to the change so i genuinely suggest stepping out of your comfort zone whatever it could be you know it differs from person to person and to me it was you know trying new food meeting new people talking to you know people from different countries and different cultures and i'm i'm usually shy so i wouldn't normally do this and i i think it really changed me as a person and i genuinely think it's going to help you like even though it's very hard to step out of your comfort zone and the fourth thing that i want to talk about is being open minded <laughs> um you know the biggest thing about going to another country is you have to be open minded that's the reason you're going there you can't you know like you can't expect things to be the same way as they were in your country and you can't expect people to be the same way as they were in your home country so what i've realized is you know just like how you want people to be open minded to you and your culture it helps when you respect other people and you start opening up to them and you start being just open minded to everyone around you and respecting their opinions respecting their values and their culture and it would really help you in making a lot more friends and also just 
adapting to the environment there so really try to be as open as you can and don't be judgmental go go into it with an open mind and i promise things are going to get better <laughs> so the last thing i want to talk about is being homesick and i am the only child and i'd never been away from my parents so it was a huge change and you know what i realized you don't the feeling of homesickness it doesn't go away but instead you learn how to live with it and that like when i realized that it changed my life and you know like i was being it was like when i was here i was being so excited about la and when i was there i was thinking about home so it's natural it happens to everyone and what i realized is you know your parents are always going to be there so try to make the most of your time you know wherever you you're going to college and it's it's going to be okay you're going to like learn how to live with the feeling of homesickness it doesn't get that bad it gets better with time and honestly just have fun and shift your focus on to other things shift your focus on to getting to know yourself learning more about other people being open stepping out of your comfort zone and it'll get better with time so yeah thank you so much for watching us today that's all i wanted to talk about and i'm going to be coming up with a lot more videos and i hope i was helpful in some way or the other and i promise you things will get better so don't worry too much just be present focus on yourself focus on the day focus on what you have in front of you and yeah do comment down below and also do subscribe to us and let me know if you have any questions and i promise i'll get back to you so yeah see you next time